Welcome one and all to Clara, a great tree hidden in the epicentre of a powerful sandstorm. Clara is a location you come across at the start of Disc 2 in Final Fantasy IX, and I've decided to dedicate an episode of Wonder or Wednesdays to it, as I feel it's a great example of how to create a setting that will stick with players long after they finish the game. Let's start off with how you come across this location. Your party has just left Burmesia, the realm of eternal rain, after suffering a defeat at the hands of the general of the Alexandrian army. The Burmeseans have fled to their neighbours in Clara, and you follow suit, hoping to find the king of Burmesia safe inside the sandy tree. As you pass through the sandstorm, your party comments on how it appears to be weakening. Before this point, you could approach the tree, but the sandstorm stops you from entering, so you'll already have seen the location before now if you've spent time exploring. As you traverse your way up Clara's trunk, you see the relationship the sandstorm has with the tree. There are levers which change how sand flows, quick sand you have to avoid being consumed by, and even an enemy made entirely of sand, the sand golem. Once you reach the top of the tree, everything changes. The vivid green leaves and bright colours of the houses contrast with the dull brown palette you've grown accustomed to as you climbed the tree. When you first speak to the Clarins living in the tree, you are offered a tour of a settlement, and have the chance to learn of the symbiotic nature the sandstorm has with the tree, providing protection to its inhabitants. The Clarins in return perform ceremonies to help strengthen the sandstorm, which shields them from danger. Due to a member of your party being a powerful warrior of the same race as the Clarins, you are invited to help with one of the ceremonies, providing another insight into Claren culture. Sadly, their efforts are in vain, and the sandstorm fades away, leaving the settlement vulnerable to attack. In an attempt to save the settlers, you head down the trunk and fight off the Alexandrian soldiers who have started making the climb. As you are doing so, another Alexandrian force have begun teleporting themselves to the top of the tree. This use of advanced technology against a society with strong links to nature is a common theme, not just in the Final Fantasy series, but in many Japanese stories. The advanced technology puts the Clarins on the back foot, and when you return to the top of a tree, you have to fight to save those who are left. The battles come one after another, and, if you're unprepared or underleveled, this could potentially spell a game over. As you make your way to the cathedral at the top, you have to make decisions as to which way you should direct the survivors. A wrong choice here leads to the death of some of the survivors, and means you can either save everyone you encounter, or almost none of them. This is your first direct experience with the war that you know has been going on, before this, you've only come to the sites of battles after all the fighting is over, and you've only seen the consequences. You've not seen the bloodshed firsthand until now. At the end of the fighting in Clara, you face off once more against the Alexandrian general, and she defeats you for the second time. After this, she teleports away, and most of your party decide to pursue her. However, one stays behind. As you're being teleported to the airship flying above, you bear witness to a great and terrible sight. The destruction of Clara is what really makes this place stand out to me, more so than most places I've come across in any open world game. We're used to being able to travel back to locations we've visited before, and see what's changed with them and the inhabitants inside. When you are finally able to return to where Clara once was, all that's left is the stump of a great tree that once stood there, a constant reminder of all the lives lost that day. To me, Clara feels like a great example of how a location can really help with adding to a story. Instead of merely being an interesting looking change of scenery, it has given the chance to add so much more gravity to the events taking place. It shows the player just how much of a threat the enemy truly is, and gives more of a motive for your party to be fighting. When I came up with this series, this wasn't the location I was going to focus on for this video. I in fact had a much later game location in mind, 
but as I played through the Clara section, I decided that this location deserved to be talked about. As I'm writing this, it's actually been years since I last saw the stump that's left behind after Clara's destruction, but I can still picture it perfectly in my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever forget it. I want to thank all of you for joining me on this journey, exploring Clara and the impact this location had. As this is a new series, please do leave feedback in the comments, so I have an idea of anything that you'd like altered, or if there's anything in particular you want me to focus on in a future episode. If you enjoyed the video, then let me know by clicking the like button, and please share this video to keep the memory of Clara alive. As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.